Hello everyone. Today we will be learning about the granulomatous inflammation or the delayed hypersensitivity reaction, right? Delayed hypersensitivity or type for hypersensitivity reaction. Any of these antigen, let's learn from this diagram how uh, the granuloma is formed in case of the uh, type of hypersensitivity reaction, right? At first, any of the antigen is presented to the antigen presenting cell. This antigen presenting cell will process the presented antigen, right? And uh, it will present to the surface molecule. Here, the, it will present to the MSC class 2 molecules. This MSC class 2 molecules will, pre uh, will be present to this process antigen to the CD4 lymphocytes. Here, CD4 TH1 helper T cells will get activated. And it will release the cytokine factors like a tumor necrosis factor and the interferon gamma, right? And uh, release of these cytokines will increase the vascular permeability that causes the extra vegetation of the enough amount or the number of the uh, these monocytes. Enough number of these monocytes will get extra vegetated and that will reach to the site of inflammation. The function of this interferon gamma will active will cause the activation of these macrophages, right? And that leads to the formation of the granuloma. Now, for example, uh, in case of tuberculosis, right? The granuloma is formed by this process. Now, how, what, or what is the composition of the granuloma in the TB? Is a kind of uh, here the central part is of the casetting necrosis. This is a casetting necrosis. Alloys and greasy materials will cover the central part, and adjacent to this caseous materials. Right, there is a presence of two types of the cells. That is a modified macrophage. That is a multinuclear giant cells, and the epithelial cells. Right, these macrophages, activated macrophage, activated macrophage will will fuse together, right, and to form the Langerhans giant cells, and the nucleus will be lining to the periphery of these cells. This is how the Langerhans giant cell is formed, right. And next is a epithelial cells that cover adjacent to this granuloma. And the outermost covering of this uh, TB granuloma will be by the lymphocytes and the fibroblast. This is the typical granuloma in case of TB. Now let's learn from this histological slide. Here are the two foci of the TB granuloma, right? Or the granuloma. You can see here these cells these cells right and the periphery is covered by the or the periphery is lined by the nuclei and again this foci also the periphery is lined by the nuclei thanks for watching